leather. As you can see here, I am wearing a leather jacket. I absolutely love this leather jacket. I spent way more on it than I care to admit, but this is something, I mean, I can't imagine why this wouldn't last for a lifetime and why I wouldn't be able to pass this on to my own grandchildren. So. Good day, everybody. My name is Hannah and I am loving living and inspiring through classical music, shared experiences, travel, and lessons learned. So in this video, I'm discussing five fun things that you can shop for in Florence, Italy. So the first and foremost thing that you can get in Florence that's fun to shop for is the leather. As you can see here, I am wearing a leather jacket. I absolutely love this leather jacket. I spent way more on it than I care to admit, but this is something, I mean, I can't imagine why this wouldn't last for a lifetime and why I wouldn't be able to pass this on to my own grandchildren. So I viewed this as an investment and uh, you can also, it's not just jackets, you can get, um, belts, you can get jewelry, you can get uh, purses, boots, anything made of leather you can find over there. So as a quick example, uh, here's one of the bracelets that I got, leather bracelets. Um, here's a couple more. You can get them in all different colors. These bracelets were like a euro a piece. Um, these were from the San Lorenzo marketplace. It's, it's, out, it's an outside market. And then there's another place where you can go inside to get things like uh, uh, food, olive oil, wine, spices, and there's restaurants and stuff on the inside. It's a pretty fun place to go. You should definitely check it out. Here's another one. It has um, this pretty flower pattern on there. You can get more intricate ones, The price, but the prices of these are pretty low. Uh, you can also get like keychains and things that are leather. Uh, let me show you real quick the belts that I got. These are also from the San Lorenzo place. I believe this is where it was. If it's not, if I'm not saying the right name, I'll put it somewhere in this video. So here's one of the belts I got. The, this was from the first time I went in 2017. So it's something that I really loved and I knew would last a while. And then there is the, uh, the second time I went in 2018 for an opera program. Um, I took a day trip to Florence because I just love Florence, but um, I also got another belt in black because I wanted a different color. Something that I will mention though is if you get a belt, make sure that you try it on and you have enough hole punches in the belt because I, when I originally got it, I wanted it both for around my pants but also I wanted it to be something around my waist like that. And it, this was way too big for it. There, there weren't enough holes to use it for that. So if that's what you're intending to use it for, just make sure that you ask them to punch holes in there and they'll, they'll do it. So a little bit more about this jacket that I have. This jacket, so when I first went from the Google searches that I saw, there are two main places to get leather in Florence. So one of them was the San Lorenzo place. And then the other one was, um, I remember reading, it doesn't seem like it's that much. I think it's the shops that are around it, but near the Ponte Vecchio, um, if you go from the Duomo side and going out of Florence, this, the store that I got this from was on the very edge of that to the left. I will put the name of the store somewhere in here. Now the, the people in there were super nice. They even gave me a little souvenir to go with this. It was a little heart, uh, leather heart thing. It used to have the name on it, but it's not there anymore. Uh, but you can get, I mean, just in general in Florence, you can get leather jackets for probably like 150 euros, 200 euros, depending on what type of quality you're looking for. I definitely spent I don't quite remember exactly what I spent, but I definitely spent at least twice that much on this. Again, I view it as an investment piece, but um, you can definitely get them for a cheaper price depending on if there's sales. 
um, and whatnot like that. You can also get gloves, literally anything you can think of that's made of leather, you can get that in Florence and Florence is definitely the place to get it. I do suggest that when you go to Florence, I mean, if you get something that's leather over there, you, you can find some really, really awesome quality for a pretty good price, but you have to know exactly what you're looking for so that you can get what you want when you go there. Um, there's another place I remember uh, looking up, there's like a like a school or a like an old school building or a factory or something. I, I looked this up years ago, so I don't quite remember the details, but there are other places that I just, other than what I just mentioned, where you can get this stuff. The second thing that's kind of fun to buy in Florence, Italy, is um, food and spices and items that you could take home with you. So not necessarily all types of food, but um, for example, I have, so you can get these little spice packets in uh, Florence. The price isn't crazy expensive. I wanna say it was either three euros or five euros a piece. And this one's one of my favorites actually. And I saved the, the packets so I can remember what the names are. But here's one of them, the um, top of one of them, what it looks like, and then here's another. So this one has, um, yeah, garlic oil and chili pepper, it says the English translation down there. I loved, loved the taste of this. It's just awesome. What you do is you take these spices and you... Um, mix them with olive oil and maybe a little bit of salt with some pasta and it's awesome. It's hot, but it's really, really, really good if you like hot things. Uh, it's funny, I can actually smell a little bit what the spices smell like because I have kept this in here for so long. By the way, if there are any Italians watching this or anyone who knows where to find Italian things, please let me know where I can find the, I guess, I suppose, I, you could probably make it on your own. <sighs> I'm not too keen on all these making things your own. I'm not the best of cooks. I'm not very creative with that stuff. But if you know where to find this stuff that's not crazy expensive, please let me know. I remember one time I found one on Amazon that wasn't terribly priced. But then I looked there again and they wanted like $20 for the same type of packet. So I would love to be able to find this elsewhere. The third thing that's kind of fun to buy and go shopping for in Florence is perfume or a scent. They say that when you go traveling, it's always nice to get a scent from the place that you go to because every time you wear it, you're reminded of the place. So for me, it, um, is this scent right here. You can see I've used most of it. Um, Primavera Toscana. It's, um, there was two locations of this. I'm going to admit, this one I actually bought in Lucca, Italy the second time I went there in 2018. But I originally bought it in Florence because I took a day trip there, got it there. And then I came back to where I was staying and it was in these glass bottles and I dropped it. Like the whole thing just like exploded on the floor. So then I found the same shop. I'm gonna assume that the shop name is this little circle right here. So if you are interested in that. Um, this shop was also in Luca, so I bought it from there and I really like it. It's just a really fresh scent and every time I wear it, I think of that time in 2018 when I was in Italy. The fourth fun thing to buy in Florence are cheesy souvenirs. Cheesy souvenirs. So I've got a couple. First one is a little figurine of the Duomo in Florence or the Italian name Firenze. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I like to see those things and I like to be reminded of where I've been. I know some people aren't souvenir people, but I do enjoy this stuff. And this I believe is right here. You can see it says 650, so six euros and 50 
sense. I can't remember what the name, for, if it's sense or something else. And then I also got a little David souvenir. I don't know if you could see it. <laughs> uh, again, it reminds me of being there and I very much enjoy it. There, you can get tons of keychains there. I remember they said Pinocchio's story was either from Florence or it was from a region in Tuscany and they were selling Pinocchio type things. I can get, you could get like the little puppet, um, all sorts of like leather keychains as well. Um, you can get some of the artwork like the David and um, other figurines with a keychain. So um, if you like that type of stuff, it's kind of fun. I know my dad got, I think he got a pack of cards there that he uses and they've got pictures of Florence on all of the cards. Um, and I also, my dad always likes to get a, um, a ball cap and a shirt from the place as well. So if you like that type of stuff, you can always get it there. And the fifth and final thing that I find that you can uh, go shopping for in Florence well, it isn't really considered shopping because I'm going to kind of cheat and I'm going to say beautiful photos. So when you're in Florence, this place is one of the most beautiful places ever. I would say that Florence is probably one of my favorite cities that I've traveled to so far because I just, I'm so inspir inspired by the uh, beauty of the place and the artwork. There's also so many great photo taking opportunities in Florence, especially if you can go to the places where you could see the Duomo, like where you're away from the Duomo and you could take a picture of it and maybe you can ask someone to take a picture of you standing in front of the thing. Um, that's always really cool pictures. And I, I love the, the tones. This is kind of why I um, was thinking about doing this video is because these fall colors right now. It's, um, you know, currently mid to end of September. And these fall colors kind of remind me of the color scheme of Florence. And it just reminds me of the beautiful pictures that I got. So it's kind of a souvenir because I printed some of them off and I made little, um, like those canvas printouts that you can get. Um, I think I got mine at CVS. And Every time I look at it, it reminds me of the city and brings back these uh, beautiful memories. So if you're interested in shopping at Florence, Italy, I hope this video helps you out. And there's also other things. Um, the way I searched this back in 2017 when I first went, I just typed in things that you should get in Florence because I feel like I don't want to miss out on anything that's really super special from there you know, spending all that time and money to get there and then not get that thing. So recently when I looked this up though, I saw that you can get uh, different, uh, like like nice paper, like, like pretty kind of fancy paper, which I thought was interesting. It's not something I really have a need for right now, but if you're interested in that type of stuff, that's uh, apparently Florence is the place to go for that. And again, always leather. They're pretty well known for the leather over there. So if you've been to Florence, what are some of your favorite things to shop for? Let me know in the comments. And if you watched this video all the way through, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you spending the time to watch this and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I will see you next time. Bye.